Hello everyone! Let's talk about the similarities and differences between linear equations in two variables and linear inequalities in two variables. Now we have here linear equations and linear inequalities. Let us try to examine how do they differ and how are they similar. Let us just try to consider the degree. Okay, the degree use. As we can see, our linear inequality and linear equations are both in the first degree expression because the highest exponent of all the variables is only one so both are in the first degree expression or mathematical expression 2x plus y, 2x plus y is greater than 4. So, we cannot see any expression that is linear that has an exponent of more than 1. If your equations or expressions does not have an exponent of 1, then that is not a linear equation anymore. So that's one of the similarities that we can see. Then how about the variables? So in terms of degree, Both are in the first degree. In the terms of variables, linear equations in two variables and linear inequalities in two variables, so both uses x and y variables. So, they have the same variable use. Then, in terms of another that we can see here is in terms of the symbol use. So, linear equations. It uses okay, equal symbol. So, equal symbol, it denotes equality between the two quantities. So, the right quantity and the left quantity is equal. Since we have the word equal, that means they are the same or of equal value but on the other hand linear inequalities uses inequality symbol like so inequality symbol We call those inequality symbol greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and less than. So these are the symbol used in linear inequalities. So that comes from, that's why it gets the word not equal or that's why it is being called inequalities because the quantities are not equal thus using this different symbols then in terms of 
of the forms. We have the forms. Our linear in equations in two variables takes the form. So this is for linear equation. Takes the forms ax plus by is equal to c. Sometimes it is also written this way, plus by plus c is equal to 0. And sometimes it is written in the slope-intercept form. Okay, y equals to mx plus b. Okay, that's the forms of our linear equations. But for our linear inequality, it uses the form... This is for linear inequality. It's the forms ax plus by is greater than c. Mm, it may have ax plus by is greater than or equal to c. Or it may have ax plus by is less than c. And the other one, ax plus by is less than or equal to C. So, in terms of forms, they are different. This is for linear equations in two variables, and these are the forms for linear inequalities in two variables. Then, Another one that we can consider in comparing them is in terms of the graph. In terms of the graph. Okay. For example, in number 1, we have 2x plus y is equal to 4. And then, for the linear inequalities, we have 2x plus y is greater than 4. So, if we are going to look at the linear equation... For the graph of 2x plus y is equal to 4, the graph of a linear equation is a line. And then, the graph of a linear inequality, we have this shaded portion, the shaded region. So, this shaded region... This contains now the set of all the points, the points here that represents all the solutions of the linear inequality. So it differs in terms of the graph. So the graph of linear equation is a line then the graph of a linear inequality is a half plane or a shaded region shaded region that defines a half plane So, we can see that in a quadratic inequality, the line, this line, actually divides the coordinate plane or the Cartesian plane into halves by this boundary line that is either solid or broken depending upon the inequality. So, it is solid or it is broken. In here, it is broken because this is a strict inequality. So, that's why we have broken line. If this is an inclusive, inclusive 
then this boundary line here is solid meaning this is the points in here are still included as part of the solution set so that's the difference between the graph of linear equation and the graph of a line and then one thing that we can consider in comparing them is the solution set or the solutions of the quadratic, no, the linear equations. So, we can compare the solutions of a linear in equations are the points in the line. Set of ordered pairs so the solution set set of ordered pairs in the line okay so all these points in the line this one this all the points that are contained only in the line that extends infinitely in both direction are the solution set of these linear equations. So, the solution set are set of ordered pairs in the line. But, in quadratic inequalities... The solution set here, so we can compare, the solutions are, what can we say about this one? Set of ordered pairs in the plane, in the half plane or in the shaded region. Or half of the plane. So. This one. In this example. The shaded portion here. The shaded region. With, which defines the half. Of the plane are the solution set of this quadratic inequality. So that's the difference and the similarities between linear equations and linear inequalities in two variables. It's my life.